Hi, I'm Doug and Cooley, CEO of the Pinellas Community Foundation, and this is See What's Needed Now. In 2021, PCF established the Needed Now Fund to respond to critical needs in the community. The isolation that many of us experienced during the pandemic highlighted the importance of community and sense of belonging. It also highlighted the strength of the arts in building community, bringing us together through shared experiences, helping raise our hope, and finding our similarities bridging our differences and developing ways to express our emotions. Safety Harbor in North Pinellas County is a wonderful and delightful town with galleries and studios, an independent movie theater, um, music venues, great festivals. It is a city of the arts. It's also home to Shamsi, the Safety Harbor Art and Music Center, whose mission is to promote knowledge and education in fine arts and visual arts and performing arts. And so I'm excited today to be joined by Heather Richardson, Shamsi co-founder. So thank you for hosting us today, and thank we're you. glad to be in your space. It's a joyful space. We love it. It is, it is incredible to be here. Can you tell us about Shamsi and its origins here in the community? Yeah, awesome. We have been officially open in this location for five years um, as the Safety Harbor Art and Music Center. Um, Prior to that, we have a little property nearby called Whimsyland, which um, has been in Safety Harbor for 30 years. And it's actually the mother, we always say, we were birthed from Whimsyland, <laughs> which is kind of fun. And um, so Todd and Carolinda and myself are the three founders of the space. And um, it's great, uh, even before this building was open, um, we did things like all of the mosaic panels that are on the outside of the building were done at the Whimsy Land House. Um, they were done over like a three year period of time, all by members of the community. We would kind of say, hey, you know, we're building this space that's a community space. Would you like to join us? Um, so like every Thursday, we'd send a thing out and we'd say, okay, we're, um, making panels, so come on over and we, you know, cut the glass and have it in buckets and people would just participate. So even before the official building was open, it was still, you know, bringing the community together, which is, you know, our ultimate goal. I love that. How does Shamsi highlight and support visual and performing arts? Well, we do a lot of live music here. We're, we're really, that's kind of one of the big things that we do. We really love to bring in um, musicians from all over the country, like new uh, music that people might not have heard of. And it's really interesting. You know, we love our local musicians. We support our local musicians, but we're trying to educate the community on, on new music and new musicians. Shamsi is committed to making art fun and accessible both in the art center and also in the community. Um, can you share with us some of the programming that's been the most impactful uh, maybe for you and, and to the community as well? Sure. So one of the most recent things we done, have done uh, with a grant from the Pinellas Community Foundation was our uh, painting of our local skate park. And um, it's this project is something I wanted to do for like more than five years. I would, you know, go by the skate park and it was just kind of ordinary. And um, it's a, you know, it's on the other side of town, but it's still a prominent, you know, feature of the town. There's baseball fields, our community rec center is there. And I thought, gosh, it'd be so amazing to get the community together and beautify this space. Our, you know, bring art to this side of the town. So we did a big event um, about three weeks ago and um, we had a professional artist that did a lot of the primary um, artwork. And then we had a community wall that anybody could come and paint. We did a, a, about a week before the actual event. We spent a day there where we asked kids that come to the park and use the park to come and help paint so that they were a part of it, you know, to give them ownership, to make them feel pride in a space that they use. And that, you know, is such a great thing for a community. That's how you bring community together, by creating things where 
the people in the community can be a part of it and and make them feel connected to your to your community i love what you have been able to do in bringing the community to be a part and and bring the arts into the community bring the community together around the arts all of that is incredibly impactful um and then most recently in my own experience uh, my son is at Davis Elementary, and they have been working on beautiful mosaics for uh, the front of the school and another way to bring art into our schools, but also in a way that brings the school together as a community and, and that you can see that every day. You see that when we, when we go to school, um, and, and that's something everybody worked together on. And yeah. It impacted that. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was, it's a great thing. So kind of when we do things out in our community, we call it Art Reach. Shamsi Art Reach. And so for the past five years, I've been going to primarily elementary schools, K through five. And um, I work with the art teachers. Um, before I come to the school, the, the, the art teachers will um, make tiles, have the kids make tiles. So they'll spend a lot of time doing that. And then I'll come to the school and we'll have a design formulated then I literally work with every single kid, every K through fifth grader. And sometimes we'll have teachers come, even like custodians and kitchen help. It's about you know the community again, getting everybody involved, creating a piece of artwork that is part of the entire community that's involved in that space. I think I've done 18 school projects over the last five years, having, you know, the kids physically touching and creating and being a part of a bigger picture. And it's a memory that they have and it's, you know, a mosaic specifically is not gonna, it's gonna be there a long time. So I always tell these kids, when you're an adult, you can bring your children to where you went to school and you can say, I helped make this. And that is like something that really speaks to them. You know, they get that, they understand it. And those are the experiences that you want to create, like that's what we try to create here, you know, when we do things. We want people to come back and, you know, they bring their family. So people come in and they're like, oh my gosh, what? You know, the very most popular question, people walk in the door and they're like, what is this place? What, you know, they look around and, you know, they're just like amazed by, you know, everything that is here. And, and this was all created, not just by a person, you know, it was created by the community. So it's a, it's, this is part of the community and it's not just Safety Harbor. I mean, it's whoever comes here. I think that is tremendous. And I think that the, uh, the ability to involve the community in the ways that you have, especially emerging from the pandemic, we need shared experiences. And, and we need to see ourselves together in, in all the different facets of who we are. The arts are a vital part of what makes Pinellas County, Pinellas County. And PCF stands with our arts and culture community as we navigate what's next together. And we wanna thank Heather and Shamsi, the Shamsi staff for their commitment to the community, the commitment to bringing us all together and for everything that you stand for um, and helping to find a place and create a place and create experiences where we all belong. And that's what's needed now.